on selection of a value from the drop down list box the data gets copied to the text box so whatever value we select it gets copied to the text box here so this way we uh, read the value and assign it to a text box visit the url and copy the jquery structure available here let us paste it here okay now our basic structure with uh, jquery library from google cdn is ready let us first add the html elements we have to add a drop down list first select list select id equal to student no option value is equal to alex let's say alex is one of the name or option value now let's select this copy and add other thing alex let us make it ron one more element we are adding this is another uh, option for us third option is john let us okay we'll go with uh, this three thing you can add more if you want now let us close the select tag now we'll give a input input box input type is equal to text id is equal to t1 let's give name equal to t1 also fine now let us start the jquery part already jquery framework is ready our and we will start uh, using this now first we'll go with the id student student uh, this is the drop down list student now change function change function now let's start it and close this here fine so this is our student on change event moment we change this code block will be triggered now let us first collect the selected option so we'll start like this we'll use student student then val value is this is this will this variable selection will store the selected value of the drop down list box now this value will assigned it to our text box so let's start using our t1 t1 is our id of our text box now we'll assign attribute or attributes good attr value it should be within quotes value comma now this is cell cell is our variable which holds the uh, value of the selection of the drop down list box so here is the selection now it is assigned to this let us save this we'll go here refresh it let us select ron yeah we got it ron here let us change it to john john is here now alex alex is this is how we have understood how a drop down list box value is selected and assigned to a text box now we'll learn how dynamically we can change the selected option of the Uh, drop down list box let's uh, we have one list box now what you will do we'll may we'll change it to or we'll make another list box now we'll let us give the id as a 2 so based on whatever we select in the first list box the data will anyhow we have seen it is copied to a text box so, and also it will force the second list box to change its option so the second uh, drop down list box we have added now let us change the query part in this query we'll write the id of second uh, list box that is student 2 we'll give sorry we'll close this now this value this val is equal to selected one selected option is variable is already selected so cell so here it is we are getting the cell value from here and using it in the text box and also forcing the second student box a student drop down list to change okay let us go there refresh it okay we got another one now let us change this value to run you can see this value is changed to run and this drop down list value also changed now we will change it to john here also it changed to john so now let us again change it to alex so this changes to resetting alex. a list box if once you select a option from here by click of a button we can reset it so similarly let's uh, select one more option now by clicking this we'll reset it to initial stage 
we will learn the coding of this now. We will use our basic structure again. We have used it here. Let us copy the list box from uh, our previous example. We have copied it here. Uh, okay, inside the body tag. We can add one more option also to make it. Let us add one more option here. Raju, okay, fine. Now, here we, we, we need now one input button because we on click event of the button. So, we will be adding the, uh, we will use need a button, button type. Type is equal to button. Now, id is equal to, we are, let us give it b1. Now, close it. Now, we will write it as reset button fine okay now let us add the click event of the button no selector first will give b1 click when it is click let us see the function i o n function no let us close this Okay, inside that we will keep our code. Now, once it is clicked, so we will now we will go to the, our student selector or the list box student properties or prop prop. Now, now we will write selected index, selected index becomes zero. Sorry, it becomes zero. Now, this is our code selected index will become 0. Once I am clicking the button, this should change the index or uh, selected position of the drop down list box. Let us save this and go to our browser. Let us refresh it. Fine. Now, I am selecting John. Reset it. Yes, it has come back to Alex again. Anything I am selecting, I can reset the drop down list box to its initial value. We can enable or disable a list box based on the selection of a radio button. We can use a button or radio button or any other element. Now, let us see. This is our uh, uh, drop down list box. This is one more list box. Here is our radio button. Now, by selecting this, now this is disabled. Now, let us say we want to disable both. We can disable both. So, both are disabled. Now, disabled one. So, means disable none. So, none of these are disabled. Once more, we can disable one. So, uh, disable none also will remove the disable. So, we can use a radio button or a button simple to disable or enable a uh, drop down list box. We will start from the previous example where we have uh, used this one drop down list box. Let us copy this, paste it here id and we will give it as name id2 now the first one will give id1 so student1 and student2 now this button is not required we will use radio buttons so input type is equal to radio value is equal to mm, sorry first let us give name name is equal to options options value is equal to option 1 optn1 okay now disable 1 so let us uh, use copy this and use the second button this name will keep it as same this will give as 2 disable 2 fine now let us enable let us give this as option 3 enable you enable both here now we have already three radio buttons okay let's come to the jquery part jquery we are not using anything here we are removing the button okay now it is clean we will add the event here now any of the radio button is clicked we want that input radio now we will give name is equal to 
options so this is the name part we are clear let us close this any one of the radio button is click click function click function you are writing we will close this let us end it here fine now the if any one radio button is clicked the, 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 the code in this part of this will be executed let us uh, first collect the value which uh, radio button is clicked so variable opt option is clicked is equal to and selection is this will use this well so now our variable opt will hold the value of the radio button which is clicked by the user we can uh, check at this stage by giving a lot let us try that though it is not required here but uh, when you are writing a long code uh, let us check at this stage so let's save this based on our selection we should get dot let's refresh this okay now if i am clicking this okay i am getting option one if i am clicking this option two now i am third one i should get option three okay so so far our code is fine so let us remove this a lot now we'll what you will do we'll go for if condition if now here opt is equal to our option one that means the first radio button is clicked then what you want is first one to be disabled so let us the student one the first let's select her select one now this one eight, eight here attribute disabled disabled is equal this is will set it as true so now the uh, option one is true so the moment we select the click the first one our uh, option one means radio the drop down list box for student one will be disabled now so let us copy this code if this let us use this as op sorry where one mistake this we have to use two this is where comparing comparison value so we have to use two now here let us put option two option two then we will make second one is such a okay this one we have to disable mm, okay disable two two means both we'll see that both the or one also we can do now let us copy this code paste it here if it is option three means third radio button is clicked then this CT. sorry here we are doing a mistake this is our student one now this is student two student 2 now the student 2 has come now there we will get student 1 comma has student 2 at a disabled is we will enable it so you will make it false so this we should student one student one okay now this should work for us mm, fine let us try this we are making all now let us say disable one okay disable one now disable two disable two enable it will enable both the thing let's try once more this is all are enabled now we are to disable one so this is disabled now let us say disable two this is disabled once again enable both now we can select any 